Can you square a three-digit number like 487 in under five seconds? Can you solve 307 times 312 in under five seconds? Can you divide 5632 by 14 in under five seconds? Can you divide this number by nine in under five seconds? Can you divide 16683 by 201 in just one written line? Can you express 51 sevenths as a decimal instantly? Can you add together all the numbers from one to 100 in your head instantly? Can you memorize pi to 100 digits? Can you memorize a list of 20 or more items with perfect recall? An amazing facility in math and memory can be achieved, and it doesn't need to be difficult. See if you can answer this question in under 5 seconds. What's 107 times 104? Here's a quick way to get the answer. Since both numbers are close to 100, we'll use 100 as the base. 107 is 7 more than 100, so we write 7 just over to the right. 104 is 4 more than 100, so we write 4. Working crosswise, 107 plus 4 equals 111. Working crosswise in the other direction always works too. 104 plus 7 also equals 111. That's the left side of the answer. Now we multiply the 7 and 4 to get 28. That's the right side. So the answer is 11,128. Answer this question in under 5 seconds. What's 98 times 97? Once again, the numbers are both close to 100, so we'll use 100 as the base. 98 is 2 less than 100, so we write negative 2. 97 is 3 less than 100, so we write negative 3. Working crosswise, 98 minus 3 is 95. That's the left side of our answer. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, but we write 0, 6. How do we know to do that? Well, the base number has two zeros, so the right side of our answer has two digits. The answer is 9,506. Answer this question in under five seconds. What's 97 times 88? The answer is 8536. 97 is 3 less than 100, so we write negative 3. 88 is 12 less, so we write negative 12. Working crosswise, 97 minus 12 is 85. And working crosswise in the other direction, 88 minus 3 is 85. Notice that it's easier to subtract 3 from 88 to reach the first part of the answer, so it pays to recognize shortcuts. Negative 3 times negative 12 is 36, so the answer is 8,536. You may have noticed that in all of these examples we multiplied numbers close to 100. Later we'll look at using base multiplication in a wide variety of situations. Answer this question in under five seconds. What's 35 times 35? A number multiplied times itself is called a square. When we square a number ending in five, we take the number preceding the ending five, in this case three, and multiply it times one greater than itself, in this case four. Three times four is 12. That's the left side of the answer. 
For the right side of the answer, simply multiply the two fives together to get 25. So the answer is 1225. Answer this question in under five seconds. What's 65 squared? We multiply six times one more than itself, or seven. Six times seven is 42. Answer, 4225. A similar shortcut applies when the first digits are the same number and the digits in the ones place add to 10. Here the first digits are the same, both eight, and the ones place digits, three and seven, add to 10. So you can apply the same method. Eight times one more than eight, or nine, equals 72. That's the left side of the answer. Then multiply the ones place digits. Three times seven is 21. The answer is 7,221. Solve this problem in under 10 seconds. Well, here's how to make short work of this problem. First, bring down the three. Then add the three to the next number, one, to make four. Add four to the next number, one, to make five. Add 5 to the next number, 1, to make 6. Add 6 to the next number, 0, to make 6. Add 6 to the next number, 3, to make 9. The last digit is our remainder amount. That makes 34,566 and 9 ninths. The fraction is equal to 1, so the answer is 34,567. Let's try another. Solve this problem in under 10 seconds using base division by 9. Bring down the first number and then add in sequence. So bring down the 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10, which is our remainder. So that's 2,236 and 10 ninths. 10 ninths is 1 and 1 ninth, so the answer is 2,237 and 1 ninth. We'll cover base division in much more detail later on in the program. And we'll learn a technique of immediate at-site division applicable to any and all cases of division, even the really nasty-looking division problems.